We're very bullish on second-year Minnesota Fighting Vikings cornerback Harrison Hand, a.k.a. 38 Special, because any Harrison in the Vikings secondary is going to be good. And the former fifth-round pick provided the team a nice spark during the morose 2020 season whenever he was on the field. And he got some love in the media this week. ESPN NFL Nation did up a list of surprise players you should know from NFL minicamps for all 32 teams. Local writer Courtney Cronin proclaimed the virtues of the former Temple Owl, writing this, quote, With Jeff Gladney absent amid legal issues and Cameron Dancer sideline with an apparent injury. Hand, a former fifth round pick, got a lot of reps with the first team defense in OTAs and minicamp. He came away with a couple of interceptions. The Vikings move Hand around as an outside corner and even line him up in the slot, which should help his chances for making the rooster this fall. The secondary looks a lot different this year. While Dantzler, if healthy, Patrick Peterson and Bashad Breland will be the front runners to earn starting jobs. Hand strong springs showing could put him in line to duke it out with Chris Boyd for one of the final spots on the depth chart. And of course, Zimmer loves him some cornerbacks, and he isn't romantic about who is starting out there. If you're not performing, you will get pulled off the field, as we've seen in the last couple of years, uh, when he installed the rotation with Trey Waynes, with uh, Xavier Rhodes out there as well. So it doesn't matter what you've done in the past with Zimmer at cornerback. It matters what you're doing right now, and I respect that. Now, if you only did that with the offensive line, Hmm. But Harrison Hand, background, 2020 fifth-round pick, uh, number 169 out of Temple, was formerly at Baylor, six foot, a buck 97. 2019, with the Owls, he had 59 tackles, three picks, five passes broken up, and a forced fumble, 71.9 PFF grade. Combine, great with the size, great with the length, very explosive and sudden in the jumps, very good at changing direction as well. Only saw action in seven games, mainly playing special teams, but logged 163 defensive snaps, both inside and outside. Had himself a breakout game versus the Saints, where he played 16 snaps, had an interception and a pass broken up, uh, plus a pair of nice special teams tackles. Now, Harrison Hand does have a tough road to hoe to get some playing time in 2021. So it's good that he made the most of his opportunity when he had it in minicamp. Vikings went ham on cornerback in free agency. Patrick Peterson, Bashar Breeland, Mac Alexander, plus you do have Cameron Dantzler and Chris Boyd in the mix. Uh, Boyd also had himself a great minicamp when given an opportunity. And that's not even with Gladney, as his situation is still up in the air. But I love 38, man. I, I, I do. I think that the Vikings need to get him involved as much as possible, even if it's just on all the special teams units. And hey, if some of the cornerbacks above him aren't playing up to snuff, get him on the field. Get him out there and let him take advantage of his opportunities, just like he did in minicamp. I think that he will surprise every single time he is on the field. The kid is special, and cream does rise. Rumble, young man, rumble. Love me some Harrison Hand. But your thoughts? Harrison Hand named the Vikings surprise. Surprise, mini camp player. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Post something to Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value. 